Welcome to Investors Insights, our 200th episode, with our topic being NFIB, NAFTA, and earnings. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, Greg. Uh, we've got an interesting week going into the inauguration, mm-hmm. and you guys made some uh, very interesting points uh, this morning in our discussion. Uh, first of all, uh, I thought it was good what you mentioned, Trey, about everybody's all excited about the new year, you know, and, and we got a new administration mm-hmm. coming in, new Congress, but there's some things of 2016, yeah. correct? That's right, yeah. Kind of the fourth quarter of 2016 has become the forgotten earnings season. No one's really talking about it, but companies making money is still very important to the market. Yes. And so that's something we're watching extremely closely. Everyone's still looking at inauguration, but we're watching how companies did last year, and then also how CEOs are talking. What's their confidence going into next year? That'd be very important. Right, and speaking on the confidence yeah. note, you you mm-hmm. brought up a, a factor about small business because we track that here at File Plan partners. If small business is doing well, give, give us the rest of the answer there. Yes, yeah, so we got great news out of NFIB. The National Federation of Independent Businesses last week reported that optimism, small business optimism, is at a multi-year high. And okay. so before the election, only 10% of small businesses were positive on the economy. After the election, that number's up to 50. That's a big jump because of the election. So hopes are high, and that's important because small businesses are really driving the well, economy. Well, and confidence, confidence in the economy, exactly. confidence in the markets, yeah. that, that plays a key role mm-hmm. there. And actually, we've been talking about here in, in the United States, but you brought up a point about the international aspect. Talk about that just a little bit. Yes, happy to. One thing that we think that you'll probably see early on in the Trump administration is a real attack on international trade. Right. It's uh, a carryover of his theme in the election that got him a Elected, so that's good. Sure. But the main thing is, is that Congress has ceded a lot of con- constitutional authority, the executive, on international trade. What does that mean? You can do a lot as right. the president. Sure. So, bottom line of it is, is that you'll I mean, there are four or five things you'll probably see quickly. One is negotiation on NAFTA will be reopened. Right. That's one. Uh, Chinese currency situation and what's going on with sure. that is the second, and then several others that you will see will aim at. Uh, picking a, com- a country on tariffs, you can go up to 45%. There's a lot of latitude on international trade. Now, that doesn't mean that everything you do is good, sure. but you're going to see a lot on that because he can do a lot on sure. that. So as we look at U.S. and international markets, you know that's going to be a big theme as we see what's coming out of Washington as well as across the country. Uh, in terms of attitude and earnings. On that note, please continue to join us through not only this vlog, but also through LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, our podcast. We want to communicate with you, and we appreciate greatly you sharing this with others. Have a great week, and we'll keep you informed.